How's it going, folks? I'm actually working on my review of Hades 2 at the moment, but I saw someone running around with the Cypher Thanatos, and I was like, where is that? So I went to looked it up. Wasn't much information out there, wasn't any videos out there, so um, I decided to go get it myself and show you guys. The prerequisites for this item, as far as I can tell, is you need to unlock the path to the surface and start getting darkness from chaos because you'll need one darkness in order to unlock the scythe. The scythe will then appear as an option, and bam. You can now cosplay as your favorite himbo from Hades 1. So let's look at the upgrades. Um, to get up to level two, like me, you'll need a nightmare. This is gotten from increasing the difficulty using the similar sort of mechanic as heat from Hades 1. Now that we have the scythe and we have a few upgrades, let's see the scythe in action. How good is it? How do you maximize its um, unique elements? How do you get the most out of a run with the aspect of Thanatos? So now we have the Scythe, we're in a run. We've got the Dash of Aphrodite. You can see that the attacks from the Scythe come out a, a decent amount quicker than um, the Moonstone Axe. Even with its upgraded Melanoi, I think it's faster than at least the level I've got it up to, which I think is four or five. So with the aspect of Thanatos, your bonus is that every time that you make a hit, you see a little counter at the bottom of your screen go up by one, up to the maximum level that you've upgraded that to. So we've upgraded it to 8%, and that's your critical chance. So what you want is attacks which hit in rapid succession, and so the spin move is ideal for this. We're going to play into that a little bit more by um, channeling faster and for um, less cost. Skipping ahead a little bit here, we're going to actually skip back after this. Just showing how it performs with a little bit of upgrading. We've got the Aphrodite Slashes now, which is great for close range damage. Just absolutely shredding through the denizens of the underworld. The next clip is from the uh, third boss, so if you haven't seen the third boss, avert your eyes after the, um, we fight these scrubs. It works pretty well. In this run we also have the healing special from Selene, which just helps give us some extra health throughout the run. So yeah, this is this really shows the, uh, the power of the spin, um, just absolutely shredding through the, uh, the poor, corrupted doggo. Just look at that, just absolutely shredding through uh, his health bar. That's the combination of the, the spins, the crits, and the uh, Aphrodite. All works together really well. So if you're gonna take the Scythe, aspect of Aphrodite would be a really solid choice to start off with. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the video and a little bit of a, a look at what the Scythe looks like in action. If you found it helpful, do like and subscribe for more. Do a lot of roguelike content here. I've got a review of Hades in the work. So um, if you'd like to see all of that, stick around. But um, thanks for your time and I'll see you next time.